Hi, it's JJ. You can find me on the web at jjconway.org. Uh, I, today I'm going to do for you a bottle review and comparison. I'm going to talk about the different things that we've used for Cubby. As many of you know, when he was born, he had poor latch at the breast. And so we were working with a lactation, a lactation consultant to do suck training using our finger in a syringe. Well, now that he's doing between two, two and four ounces at a time, it's a little bit unwieldy to keep using that syringe. And so the lactation consultant recommended we look into a bottle. The first bottle she recommended was that we try the Dr. Brown's. We have both the wide mouth and the standard versions here, and I'll explain why in a second. I really, this is the one we, we tried first, and I really like it. This feeling here is like being at the breast. He gets a good fish mouth around it, and this is all squishy, and um, so he really has to work to suck that in and keep it the way it's supposed to be and maintain that suck. Otherwise, it gets all convoluted in his mouth. Now, a lot of parents online have said that they do not like that feature. I personally do because my goal is to train him to, to latch onto the breast. So for me, I feel like that's helping our purposes. The unfortunate thing for me with this particular bottle that I'm holding is the level one nipple that came with it was too fast flowing. It, it just too much for him. And so we needed a preemie. Well, they didn't have it in the store. So while we're waiting for it to come, we went ahead and got some of these preemie bottles, which I, they, I do like. It's just that he... Um, has outgrown that and we needed something bigger so that's why we're trying some other things now I will give a plug for Dr. Brown's I'm, I don't work for them I don't get anything this venting system a lot of people complain that it's it's extra work and it is extra work but from my vantage point it is the bo best bottle so far for reducing gas now I say so far because today we just tried this one and I'll explain about that in a second but let me talk about the next one that we tried this was this is the MAM anti colic bottle and it came free in our gift bag from the registry once we completed it at one of our local stores you can see there's holes in the base you cover those holes with this flange and the premise behind this bottle is once you've got it all uh, assembled and the baby's drinking air comes in from the bottom through those holes and never up here so that reduces gas that the baby takes in and you don't have that vacuum effect in actuality I find that you do have the vacuum effect however it's not as bad it, we do hear the vents working sometimes so we have kept this bottle around um, one thing I do like about the bottle is I like the the nipple it's got that wide flat kind of shape that's reminiscent of how my breast would be in his mouth um, so I, I'm okay with that bottle. It's not my favorite, to be sure, but I am okay with it. One that you don't see pictured here that was also a freebie in that registry gift bag was the Lansano Mama bottle. That one did not work for us. It had a lot of vacuum, introduced a lot of gas, and even though it had a nipple that looks like it would facilitate breastfeeding, we just found that it was too, it was too confusing for him. So I'm not sure if we just got a bad one or what, but just so you know. The next one I want to talk about is the Kindy breastfeeding system. This is actually pretty cool. When my first son was born 10 years ago, um, I had uh, breast milk bags that I could pump into and then take them out and put them into a Playtex drop-ins bottle and fold it over and put the put the nipple on and go. And it was very convenient for us. Well, the new drop-ins don't do that, and uh, none of the None of the um, breast milk bags on the market are compatible. So the way this works, I'm going to walk you through it and then I'm going to pause the video and actually assemble it because I can't do it with one hand. The way this works is you pump into here, you can freeze, store, refrigerate, however you want to do it. And you put it in and then you cap it with the nipple which is inside this green cover. The reason we're keeping it inside the green cover is because that's all that goes on here. <laughs> there's no actual other piece to it so you can see how it looks here on the bottle I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for a second I'm gonna assemble it and then show you something about it alright so I've got the milk bag in there and then what you do is you just kinda push this on and then once you've got that on you take off the cover and you can use the bottle. Now I love the shape of this bottle. I love how cool this bottle looks. Uh, my son seemed to like it, but um, and it didn't seem to have much of a gas issue, but I've had a very hard time actually squeezing the air out of this bag, um, either with the nipple on or without it, which is what they recommend. And so I don't think we're going to use this as much as I had originally hoped. Plus the daycares don't want to uh, assemble this. They want you to spring in bottles that are already made 
And so I can go ahead and make some with all the, and get some extra nipples and some extra bottle holders. But that kind of defeats the purpose for me. So we're probably not going to use that. I think it was a great idea. I think it just needs a little bit more refinement before um, it becomes as efficient for today's working parents. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is the um, common nipple from Medalla. Now this one's pretty cool. Now this is wet because we just fed him. And so that's why this is all wet because I, I, I was going to go wash this off, but then I realized he didn't eat very much and he's going to be hungry again soon. And I wanted to make this video. <laughs> so you can see how big that hole is in there, right? All right. Um, the nipple goes on top of this piece that has little lumps. And when you put it together, the feel of it is really kind of reminiscent of breast tissue. Um, it's also a venting system that, uh, reduces gas. We'll find out how well that works tonight because this is the first day we've tried it. I'm just going to show you this really quick and then I'm going to pause the video and assemble it onto the bottle. Um, one thing I do want to make sure people know if they're looking at this as to how to do theirs, this does not sit in here firm. You, you, you're going to put this nipple on firm around the, at the edge there, which is why I've got to pause it because I am holding an infant here. Um, but this part itself is not going to be firm until you screw it onto the bottle and then it'll all firm up. So give me a second to do that. All right, we've got it all screwed in. One of the ways you'll know that you've done this bottle right is that when you turn it over, nothing comes out. And that's one of the things that I really like about this one compared to any of the other bottles that we've tried. All of them, even with the preemie nipple, the, the milk will come out. But with this one, the baby is doing 100% of the work. And like I said, this spill is just because I already fed him. So that's the only reason you even see some milk down in here because I already fed him and when I disassembled it, it kind of leaked out on the thing. Um, this bottle itself, even with that big hole, again, the baby's doing all the work, and so far we like it the best. It's done the best transition for us between bottle and breast, and we'll see how things go. I'm going to end the video now, but uh, we'll come back in a week, and I'll, and I'll leave a comment on the video to let you know how things are still working. But there you have it. I'm JJ Conway. Be blessed.